G'day, Captain Australia here, and I've stumbled into a weird zone of reception. Sorry, having an apple. I will not munch the apple while we're streaming. I'll just uh, put it there on my general lower groinal area to rest. That was a weird thing to say, and gobble it after. So I'm just having a quick sit down. Um, I don't know, come 10 or 12K, I think Cabago is about 25, 26K still and it's getting towards one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so I'm still undecided whether to muscle into Cabago or camp just outside and roll in in the morning. Uh, I might take the camp outside roll into in in the morning approach, you know, have breakfast in Cabago, meet some people and then continue forward to Vega. Uh, yes, but it's a lovely morning, lovely walk. Met a bunch of lovely people, including a a young girl who, like my mate Callum, has been suffering from bullies. Jeez. You know, why, why can't we just all be kind to each other, you know? Why can't you take the example of all this kindness you've seen directed towards me, an undeserving old buffhead, and realise just how valuable it is in, in, our, in our lives, in human society, you know? So no, no more of this bullying stuff. This lovely girl is gorgeous. Sweet, kind physically stunning, just a, a great human specimen, but she'd been quite deeply hurt by bullying. Anyway, uh, we got to have a chat by the side of the road and she's inspired by the big walk, which makes me humbled and grateful. Canal J says, howdy, it's a beautiful day for a walk. It is, yeah. It's uh, not too hot, uh, nice and breezy. Sean, hey brother, how are you going today? Sean, lovely man. Met Sean, I don't know where exactly did we meet? It was after um, Batemans Bay, wasn't it, Sean? Sean runs a car detailing company all up and down the coast. Mobile company, they come to you. So if you're on the south coast and you want your car detailed and you want a hands-on loving job from a wonderful ethical person who, like me, has repaired a broken life and taken it into brave new territory, Sean McDonald, hit him up. John Salmon, hi Captain. Captain, hey John. Whereabouts are you, asked Haley. Uh, so I'm on the road between Naruma and Cabago. I'm not yet at the halfway point or anything, I'm just maybe uh, 10 to 12k out of Naruma and I've still got about 25k into Cabago. I could certainly make that there tonight if I knuckle down, but I think I'd like to pitch camp just outside Cabago and then roll through in the morning. So we'll see how we go and I will update you later. Bullies suck, says Connell J. They bloody well do, you know? In my experience, a bully is just somebody who lacks the self-esteem to be comfortable in themselves. So rather than have, yeah, and they think, they think and realize that they're a bit of a piece of garbage, but they don't realize they can work on themselves and get better. So they think the best strategy is actually to dis disguise their garbageness by focusing on somebody else. Oh, look at, oh, look at Simon, he's a fatty. You know, so the person looks at Simon because he's a fatty and doesn't notice what a human piece of garbage I am by uh, playing that stupid game. So stop bullying. The thing is, no matter how bad or broken you are, and that includes if you're a bit of a bully, you can turn it around. I'm living proof. You can turn it around. You can get better. Rebuild yourself ethically, physically, mentally, spiritually, all of it. So come on, enough of the bullying. I've met too many kids who have been very deeply hurt by bullying. I don't like it. I'm starting to get the shits with you. Sorry, I did not mean to swear. Uh, David Duff, good afternoon, Road Commander. Road Commander, is that another? I, I can't keep track of the name, sorry. I am either Captain Australia or I will accept Military Santa, a name given to me by some lads on the Gold Coast. Diane Pitterino, hey, you Cap, how you? How are you having a great, hope you're having a great day. Where are you at now? I'm on the road to Cabago, Diane. I'll make it there tonight. And then Eden tomorrow night, or Sunday morning and Saturday morning. Uh, Connell says, can Sean clear, clean interior that a bus full of my kids traumatized? <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to check in with him. I don't know if it's just car detailing or larger vehicles as well. He, he might be able to help you out. I'd be surprised if there's anything the guy couldn't do. He's a wonderful human. Haley says, sometimes bullies are victims of being bullied themselves, so then they start. Yeah, fair enough, Haley, and it's not, you're not wrong. They've learned it even from a parent. And here's the thing, and it's a true thing, hurt people 
hurt people, but it has to stop somewhere. So you can't you you can't go. I was bullied, and that's what made me a bully. You take accountability for your own choices, and you move forward constructively. I came from trauma. My childhood wanted to turn me into a thief and a liar and a you know taker and a breaker, but you stop. You stock take and you change and you get better. And uh, you can't do that unless you take accountability. So even though bullies are maybe victims, sorry, doesn't wash, fix your behavior, make it right. Sean McDonald says, yes, I can. Lovely, good on you, Sean. So you can detail a bus. Stacy Apps, thank you so much for ta talking to Haley this morning. You made her day. Ah, lovely, Delight delighted, absolutely delighted. Janine says, hi, Captain. We were just talking about how much bullies suck. Hi, Captain, sending you a big virtual bear hug. You're the best. Well, you know, you know, actually, funny story for you. I have, the last bear hug I had was from Guy Sebastian. Yep. So I've not been bear hugged in many a year. And when I was doing the original Captain Australia kindness experiment back in like 2008 or something, um, this kid, this kid from the Gold Coast wrote to me and he dared me to audition for The X Factor. He said, you really can't sing and rap, Captain Australia. Go on The X Factor. So I did and I went through the rehearsal stuff and I got on there and Guy Sebastian hated my guts. He thought I was a, like a fame whore or something. Sorry for the language. And um, yeah, in the back room, he ran up behind me and he gave me a big bear hug. It was half loving, half hateful, I think. <laughs> Uh, Connell says, a lot of bullies I've ever known of have the potential to be really wonderful people. Everybody, well, Connell, it's not just bullies. Here's the thing. We all have the potential to be really wonderful people. Yeah? It's in us. It's abundant. The problem is life tries to push it down, crush it down. And when you do bullying, that's part of that. That's part of the lid that crushes back wonderfulness in yourself and others. So you have to unlock it. You have to, you have to stop, stock take, and move forward. So I don't want to hear any more stuff about bullies. Neil Cavill, word of the week, garbageness. <laughs> All right. I'm like Shakespeare. I have a gift with inventing words. Uh, Connell, Sean McDonald will PM you later. There, up. 10% goes to Captain Australia. No, I'm only kidding. Good on you, Sean. Margaret Parker, you're my favorite superhero. Margaret, if you think I'm a superhero, you might have forgotten to take your medicine this morning, sweetheart. I know I, I you know, boom. Clark Kent, Superman. Clark Kent, Superman. But no, I'm not defined by any superpowers. Just my many and manifold weaknesses, my friend. But that's okay. Weaknesses, ah, come on, you spectacles. What's a weakness for if not to find a way to rise above it? Angie Taylor says, have the best day in a rainbow. Thanks for the rainbow, Angie. Madison, how are you today and where, okay, how are you today and where am I? On the road to Cabago and I feel wonderful. Um, Mark says, afternoon cap, connection is, the op connection is the opposite of trauma and your walk has created wonderful connection through the areas of your walk. Thank you. I, I think connection might be the opposite of trauma. Uh, I think kindness is the antidote to suffering. I think that love is the opposite of cancer. Haley says, they sure do. Yes, you're right. Life is what you make it. Absolutely. We get to grab the steering wheel and turn in the direction that we want to go. And we are responsible for the direction we turn in. Nicole Clark, hope to catch sight of you for a wave on your way past Central Tilba. Don't forget about the amazing Drom Pub if you're getting thirsty around the halfway point. Rightio, no worries. Oops, someone's coming over to say hello. Hello. Yeah, I'll get a. Sorry, give me 10 seconds. I'll, uh, are you shy about talking to people on the... Yes. We've got one set. One set oh, that's very kind of you. Cheers. Um, I can have a word if you just give me just 10 seconds. All right, we're gonna kill this stream. I've just let's respect this last comment. 
Sebastian was one of my favourites when I was a teenager. He absolutely had an amazing voice. Absolutely did. Uh, Guy Sebastian will love me now, maybe. And we're up to date on comments. Good. So thank you for your interest. We're off to Cabago, just having a little rest. And I've got to go chat to some people who are shy but interested. Take care of yourselves. This is Captain Australia. Big walk. Brisbane to Melbourne. Signing out.